Okay. So, um, I'm going to record this part first. And this is the actual queue itself. As you can see, I have 135 items queued over here. And that is actually how many soil I have on my island. I'm going to go over in the next video all of the mods and whatnot, how to prepare, how to reach this point. This part is going to be the queue itself. Um, I can't actually go like full blown, full screen and everything and all that, but I can give you a view of my eye. I can do that much at least. And this is the quick tour, you know, you'll be able to see my island's basic build this way. Let me hide the chat. Um, you can see that I have an island that's literally just built for farming. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch to active mode. As you can see a moment ago. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's one of the good things about the queue is it actually lets you know when something isn't working right. Like if you don't have a seed equipped, or if you don't have a rake equipped, or if your inventory is full. It will actually pause on you and show you that you can't actually do the active action that it's trying to perform right here. It always does this action. When it finishes it, it deletes it. Now, uh, when, I first, when I first do the pass, I rake, and then I queue up the seeds while I rake. Now, that might confuse some people, because I've been explaining it, and they just don't seem to quite understand what I mean. So I'm going to show the seeds first, because this is the one that you cannot actually, like, speed up. This one you have to go through, queue it, fire it, let him plant all the seeds, and then you can actually do the faster steps after you plant it. But you still need to plant, and you can't really speed this up. It doesn't uh, cue it, but I can show you like my options. Oh, let me uh, <laughs> pull all the extra seeds out of the pet. I'm using the hotkey mod to help me speed things up. And you'll see that I have meat requirements not ticked off. Uh, along with the stop movement while queuing, I actually do like the movement while queuing because that allows me to just go, oop, I missed a spot, and then I you know, fire off queued mode. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I fire off queued mode. And I just go and run around to wherever I'm headed. And, like, let's say maybe I missed uh, this spot. I'll just click it. And my guy will be like, oh, okay. So he walks over and. You know, that may or may not be useful for him to actually walk all the way over there. But then, I can just go, oh, and I missed the one directly across from it. Arrow key. And maybe the next plot over. Arrow key. Arrow key. Arrow key. Or I can use WASD if I feel like doing it that way. And then I just resume. And it's useful for me that way. Now... You might not like that, because you might like, you know, enjoy your big view of your whole island in the whole nine yards. That's really user choice, to be honest. Let's see, can I do it on 7x7? Seven seven? Can you guys still see? Uh, not so much on 7x7. Seven seven. How about... Yeah, you'll be able to see fine on 9 by 9 So, you can see what I'm up to. Um, this option right here, the third option, I leave it checked off in case it does actually function correctly, but the mod author for this mod 
actually said that it's bugged and that he disabled it, but in certain instances it does actually work. Like on my phone, it actually worked right. Um, but on my laptop here, on Steam, it didn't work. So, you'll notice one trick that I have is I actually have it where the chest is right next to where I stop planting seeds or harvesting crops. And then I just withdraw the items, equip, and I can actually just come over here and click that. And that works for mobile. For PC, spacebar toggles between uh, active and paused, control, uh, either one, toggles between queued and paused. So if I want to switch to queued, press control, now it's in queued. Active, otherwise I gotta cycle through pause between queued and active. Uh, not between active and queued both. So if you're on mobile, the trick to switching back to queued mode is you actually make it so you can perform the action and then you uh, quickly toggle it into queued mode before you get to the action. And that way you can queue up, like, maybe you need to queue more seed, maybe you, like, um, only queued half your plots. <laughs> Whatever reason, you know. Or maybe you need to queue a plot that you missed. Maybe you were doing the step after the next one, and you were, like, you missed a spot, you know. It's useful. Um, I don't like how the clear is right next to the Q in active. That should really be up here by options and just this whole list bumped down to make room for that being up here, you know. Um, I'm going to cover like double experience and just basically a lot of, a lot of noob answers in the other video. But, um, I don't need that many, do I? Because I only have 25 left, so I'm going to withdraw X. Oh, it didn't, it didn't deposit them all right. It didn't deposit them all correctly. Okay. So, withdraw X. 25. Okay, so, now, we've got our seeds, and I would like to point out that at 135 plots, when I'm on my phone, this is my phone right here, it's a Kyocer Hydro, and, uh, it's decently sized, it's not too big, it's not too small, um, Yes, the typing is cramped, I know, um, but on it, it takes me 11 minutes for a full, like, cycle, from planting the seed to planting the next patch, all the way, it's just 11 minutes, okay, this is what I would consider the start of the cycle, now you'll notice, at the end of the cycle, I have these two plots at the beginning of everything. The reason for that is because it's right here next to all my tools, next to my chest, everything. Um, you don't really need your tools anywhere besides your island, so you can actually go ahead and just leave your tools on your island. Um, I hate how laggy this is, but basically I'm just going one square at a time. And that's basically all I'm doing is just directly across from each other. And it's very laggy, I know. 
Um, that's because my laptop, it's just a weak little dual port. Okay? <laughs> There's really nothing I can do to actually speed this up. I mean, I'm already recording at 20 frames per second. Anything lower, and usually people are like, Rage Against the Machine types by that point, because that's really slow. It really is. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do these two rows to give you an example to go by. And you'll see... Oops, I guess I accidentally pressed it. Um, so, you'll see that uh, clearly, I have some music playing for me, other than just whatever McDonald's plays, because well, sometimes it can not be very entertaining to plot the dice. I'm just a plot song. I wasn't really paying attention. Sorry. Sorry. Um, <laughs> this is why I don't like uh, recording. Okay, this is this is torture for me. Just so you guys know, um, there's me, two sixty four. I'm on my island, and yeah, I'm just going through. There it is. See, I knew I missed one because I count them. I look at it. I'm nearsighted, but I can see it reads thirty six Q right now. I can see that much. So, I can tell when I miss one because it'll either be odd or even. And depending on where I am in the queue, like after that chest down there, just south of me, a lot of people go, oh, well, uh, you got uh, north, south, and then east and west. And it's like, no. North, south, east, and west are cardinal directions. Okay? This game is a diagonal map. So it's north, south, east, and west. You walk northeast, southwest, southeast, and northwest. Because a lot of people view it as the arrow keys. And it's like, no, you don't you don't walk that way. No. Like that's not the compass. That's the compass. Okay, that's the way you walk. <laughs> you know? And so, um, yeah, a lot of people, they get that confused. And it's like, that's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people have seen that ad. And it's a pretty funny ad, I'll give them that. Um, I have no idea why my mouse is doing that. It, it thinks that it's resizing the window, I guess. Yeah, there it goes. So yeah, you can see the lag. Okay, I told it to to do the opposite plot quite a while. It's, it's just this terrible lag. It really is. And this is like this is fast, you know. So, yeah, <laughs> and I would like to point out, it's not my connection, watch. Just watch, just watch, folks. Okay, I'm on world three, okay? Now, while that is pretty bad, that's not terrible, okay? It is not the speed that I'm, like, suffering from here. This is torture for me. It really is. It's horrible. Now, I would like to point out, I don't carry the watering can when I actually go harvest. I don't need it. I would also like to point out, that while I harvest, you might notice that the queue actually keeps jumping up 
back up to 50, 51, 52. That's because what I'm doing is as I go, I can harvest, and then when I harvest, I can then, on top of that, cue the uh, plot I just harvested for rake. I can cue the rake. See, this is what I'm talking about with the Q mode. Now, as I mentioned, user preference. In this case, I'm going to turn it on so that I can... Did I just turn that on? I did. It's in pause mode. Okay. So, I'm gonna go into Q mode. So, Oh. Okay, it's not those two. It's not those two. Yeah, now I'm making progress. See? It's useful. You switch. But that's basically what I'm doing. I harvest. And then, when I harvest, I actually am queuing the soil that I just harvested. And for whatever reason, because of the lag, it's not actually working right. But that's basically how I've been, like, speeding through all of this. And it works great. Okay, you can do it for everything except the harvest stage. Um, the harvest stage you need the watering can for because the watering can allows you to cue crops that have not yet matured. That's why I grabbed the watering can. Um, you'll notice I'm not using the watering can. And yes, I did miss that grass, but I did come back for it, if you recall. Oh, well, hey, not grass, but yeah. So you'll notice, yeah, it went back for it. This is the other benefit to queued mode, is when you're like planting the seeds, for example, it gives you a break. You don't have to sit there going, oh, and then the next plot, and then the next plot. No. You just make sure that you got inventory space, and you just run through. So when you're seeding, you can grab a drink, you can go, as they said in the form post that suggested the farming queue in the first place, make yourself a cup of ramen noodles, because I do remember reading that post. I don't remember how long ago I read it, but I do remember reading it. Um, this is a level 3 skill equipped the donkey. It requires 800,000 experience to get from level 1 to level 3. You buy it from the pet trader in Dorpat. You do not want a regular donkey because that is for breeding, which is also an island activity, but that's not what you're wanting it for. So, you're wanting it for the inventory and the speed bonus. They are for speed. Okay. If I mouse over it, you will see plus 15 speed. That is very useful because that's movement speed. And that allows you to actually walk from plot to plot faster. So, that's useful also. And the next upgrade, if I really actually recall correctly, would be the level 92 health requirement Zeriador, I do believe it's called. Um, which I can't equip yet, I don't have that much health. <laughs> so, this is still pretty end game. You can see my stats in the top right. Okay, those are my stats. And if you type with your chat commands mod loaded, forward slash stats, you will see what they are. That is modified stats. 
because you'll notice it says 75 up there. But if we look at that stat, strength is not 75, it's actually 74. What it is, is I'm in aggressive mode right now. Normally I'm balanced, but I accidentally threw off my experience balance, and I'm trying to rebalance it manually, and it's just a royal pain. So I, I have to go through manually and earn little by little experience to rebalance it. OCD is a real pain sometimes. <laughs> so, that is my video tutorial of the queue itself. Keep an eye out for the other video that I'm going to be making, which involves all of the various new questions that you people will have, including how to make enough money to afford something like this, including the island upgrades, which get really expensive. Um, that's the ship for visiting other players' islands. And here's the island upgrade. Yeah, you can see my next one's a million. I don't have anywhere near that much. Um, so, yeah, keep an eye out. And uh, have fun, guys. Don't forget to obey those chat rules. The moderators are kind of strict about it. Uh, make sure you read them. They're on the login screen. Blue64. Peace.